you know a passion and you need your time back. An autoresponder, and the technique I showed you in a moment, is going to allow you to get your time back because you can communicate with people faster and easier and literally within minutes. And a lot of people think, well, nobody's going to open my emails. Oh, yes, they will. Yes, they will. If you are providing value, everything that you learn in Rankmakers is all about providing value. So remember, the first thing that makes somebody open an email is who it's from. Who is it from? Are you providing value for people? And do they feel like you're going to be doing something that makes them feel good? And then the second thing is the subject line. And what is it saying? What's inside? And for me, I like these cookie fun subject lines. I don't put a whole bunch of serious stuff. I put something about my cat cute. <laughs> I know that sounds nuts, but people go, what? And they want to look, they want to find out about what's going on. So listen, here's all there is to it. Because a lot of people think this is complicated. A lot of people think this is really hard. I hear people all the time, they go, oh, it's so hard. It's not hard, guys. Upon meeting a prospect, okay, we want to, let's say we want to prospect them for our business, okay? What I like to do is I say to them, you know what? I have a great newsletter on blank. Let me have your email and I'll put you on it. Don't ask if they want to be on it. Say, let me have your email and I'll put you on it. Just get their email first before we get into everything else. I'd say 99 out of 100 people go, okay, great. Now, what is the newsletter on? Well, what are you selling? What is your product on? Now, I have a great newsletter on skincare and how to stay looking young. I have a great newsletter and I show you all my different ways to have beautiful uh, makeovers. I have a great newsletter and it's all about world travel and how to go on dream trips. I have a great newsletter. It's about how to retire early. I have a great newsletter on how to reduce your debt. Whatever it is you're promoting, I have a great news newsletter. It's on losing weight and how to get in shape. Okay? And they give you their email. Now, you can make it really technical if you want. And there's some people that like to overcomplicate it. But again, I'm the digital thing that I can't overcomplicate things. I got to just have fun. You know what happened? My timer went off. Oh, there I go. No, it's time to have I just add them manually. Now, you can get the answer later. But if you're just starting out, most autoresponders, you can do a little research or ask uh, you know, one of your friends that's a little more internet savvy if this is all new to you, ask them, what autoresponder do you like? Um, I have one that I like. I'm sure different people have ones that they like. But most of them, you can either go into your autoresponder tool, it's a software, and you can just add the person manually, or you can go ahead and there's an app on my phone. I just downloaded the app. And all I do is I put in their name and their email, boom, they're there. So now I'm starting to gradually, every week, I'm looking to get, I'm looking to gather two, three, four, five people a day, depending on what your, you know, work schedule's like, what your EMO is like. I'm looking to gather a few people every day in my list. And then I mail them, or I email them at least weekly with updates, success stories, tips, articles, recipes, uh, links to videos, anything that is helpful. Remember value, right? Value, we have to provide value. Anything that provides value and that is helpful to those people because this is what my teacher told me. He said, don't beg them for their money, beg them for their time, right? I want to keep them with me. I want to keep them inspired. The whole first hour of this event was about inspiration. Do you have some people and success stories from your company that are inspiring? I want to keep them interested. What, what good uh, recipes, if you're in health and wellness or any of those things, is there a good recipe that's healthy? Is there a good tips on how to get in more water? Are there good tips on how to approach your debt or how to learn, how, learn what your um, credit rating is? What kind of tips, what kind of things do you know or could you look up that you could share with these folks that would make them want to stick around longer, keep them with you, and then, of course, we're sending them tips and success stories, et cetera, et cetera. But most of all, we can send them invitations to look at their products or opportunity. We can say, P.S., we're having a get-together tonight. We're sharing some success stories of people who have gotten, you know, reduced their debt dramatically. P.S., and I'm using debt as an example. P.S., 
We're having a little get together tonight on Zoom. We're gonna hear from some girls who lost you know, tons of weight and we're excited to invite you to come. P.S. And you can just keep inviting. What is the name of the game? Invitations. And the more invitations we do, the more luck we're gonna have. You know, uh, our dearly departed uh, business philosopher, Jim Rohn, if you're a mentor of mine, he always said it's Sinaloa, S-I-N-L-O-A, safety in numbers and the law of averages. And, and here at Rankmakers, we fill out the tracker every week to talk about what did we get done and our job is to get in front of more people and get more invitations out there, right? Because the more you do, the law of averages says you're gonna get more, okay? And then as you build your skill over time, it becomes easier and you become more natural and you become more natural talking to folks and you become more natural reading off of the email out to folks. And it becomes more natural to train folks and all of these processes become ease and flow. But in the beginning, we have to have good numbers if we want to get good results. And email will help you do that dramatically. Now I'm going to leave you with a couple of thoughts I want you to think about. How many times a year can you contact a person before they block you on social media or by phone? And I'm not trying to be negative, and I'm not trying to be rough and I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to be very realistic that today, in today's marketplace, everybody has caller ID, they can see who's calling them. Everybody on Messenger can see when somebody's trying to, uh, you know, promote to them, okay? So how many times a year can you reach out to someone? And of course, we want to follow up. How many times a year can you do it without somebody starting to go, uh-uh, no more? Two, three, you know, if you're kind of suave, maybe you get away with once a month, maybe you gotta kind of have some good conversations still, but for most people, you can't get away with it too many times before they start to be on to you, right? You're trying to prospect them. They start to be on to you. How many times can you email them? I want you to think about it. You can email them, literally. I am able to email my folks three, four, five, six, seven, sometimes seven times a week. Sometimes 